Midwest have seen a shortage of lifeguards heading into the summer months. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell investigates to see if that same problem is hitting local pools. Lifeguards go through a lot of training to take the stand by the pool, but the high price of that training could be one of the reasons fewer people are applying for area lifeguarding jobs. It's not just sitting there getting tan. You got to stay alert. Austin Feifel has been a lifeguard at Jury Pool in New Haven for five years. But it's people like Feifel that the swimming world is missing. The Midwest has been plagued by a shortage of people wanting to be lifeguards. New Haven Parks and Rec Superintendent Mike Clendenin says he struggles to find people willing to pay for the training. And that could be anywhere from 175 to 200. And then if you want to teach our swim lessons, you have to be WSI certified. And there's another couple hundred dollars. So it does take the person willing to commit to those uh, uh, training to be part of working here. Fort Wayne Pools helps cover the cost of their lifeguards training. And we split the cost and we pay our lifeguards. Uh, for the time for taking the training. But Leisure Services Deputy Director Perry Ershman says he still has fewer candidates in the pool than ever. It seems like we get fewer applications uh, every year. Uh, we uh, simply, not as many kids, I think, are interested in doing the lifeguarding job. I think it's been a struggle over the years, uh, but uh, it seems to be better. Again, this is a newer facility, so that's a big part of it. Ershman says Fort Wayne is working on more ways to recruit lifeguards. Maybe we need to look at uh, pay structure for lifeguards. I mean, that's something else that, uh, uh, that can uh, be an incentive for more kids to, to come into the lifeguard uh, jobs. All of the Fort Wayne pools closed by mid-August now because of staffing issues. Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.